Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. After those four excellent presentations, my talk would sound more of a basic nature. I'm making this presentation on behalf of my colleagues, Sarika, Ugramohan, Pradeep, and Ujwal. We want to share with you our experiences over the past five years in developing a web-based strategic information management system for strengthening data management. I'll be making a brief overview of the features and advantages of this system, issues involved in management of strategic information management system, and the challenges and lessons that we have learned from this process. As we all know, the programs in all countries are based on evidence-led approaches, where we have program monitoring providing us the positivity rates, the service delivery statistics, the indicators of vulnerability, and the program gaps. In India, we also have a strong HIV Sentinel surveillance, which uh, along with estimation, they provide us the prevalence uh, levels and trends, the risk behaviors, and incidence and mortality estimation. And uh, we also have now introduced uh, integrated uh, biobehavioral surveillance this year. We also have operational research studies and special studies to answer specific questions posed by the program managers. And uh, also some studies on epidemic profiling and migration studies. So this provides us inputs for developing new strategies, for effecting mid-course corrections, for prioritizing in the geospatial locations, for making our annual action plans, and for flexible modeling. In terms of spectrum of activities, we have data generation, data analysis and dissemination, data use, and also the need for building the capacities. So we already gone through some of the areas by which we generate the data. And uh, we have data analysis done through epidemiological means, estimations and projections, and also through website and data sharing approaches. And uh, data use for policy and strategy making, epidemic profiling, district categorization, and for developing the action plans. Building capacity is something which is very important. For example, in case of modeling, earlier the capacity was limited to just a handful of people working at the national level with the support of UNAIDS who are developing the estimations. In 2012, we took a conscious decision to broad-base this so that uh, we developed the resources at the state level also. So we had a group of 55 uh, persons from the medical colleges, from the research institutions who were trained with experts from UNAIDS, and they were actively involved in the process. So further, they could take it up at the state level also for dissemination and for making further analysis which would be useful for the states. In terms of the MND system, the earlier system we, we had, which was paper-based, where information came to the state age control societies, they then uh, transferred it to the central level where it was uploaded. So there were a lot of fragmentation in the data collection tools. There was inadequate quality control measures, and uh, we faced difficulty in undertaking integrated analysis. At the lower levels of program management, there was limited use of data. People felt that this was just data to be transmitted to the state level, to the central level. They did not perceive any use for it, and also they did not realize the importance of the data that they were providing. There were limited options for advanced data analysis, and there were no data visualization options available. Hence, we embarked on this process for developing, developing and implementing a strategic information management system. This was planned as a solution to improve data management, analysis, and use. At the bottom, you see the various sources of data, the information system, the surveillance, evaluation assessment, research and studies, which feeds into policy making, program management, learning forums, and for making impact assessment. And uh, the products of MND could be through reports, through development of a state of the epidemic, and publications. And uh, these are all integrated using a SaaS platform. So in a nutshell, I wanted to discuss with you the framework for strategic information and knowledge management. We have the various pre-program assessments, in-program assessments, and also program evaluation, and then the knowledge management and translation. In this strategic information management system, we developed a web-based application with the help of a consultant. 
who had inputs from the various program divisions, and also many experts were involved in developing this application for use for data analysis, integration of data sources. Earlier, we had a system where lots of patches were added on as the program developed. So this new system we wanted to have as a comprehensive system which covers all the features. So this is provision for offline data entry through Excel because uh, there is, uh, as we all know, problem of uh, connectivity. It may not be available all the time. So it can be entered in Excel and it can be uploaded when the connectivity is available. And it also improves transparency because normally we find that whenever any data is called for, the MND division comes up with one data, one uh, set of data, and the program division through its own sources at the state level, they come up with a different data, trying to be one up on the MND division. So in this new system, there is one level of one uh, set of data which is available to everyone across the system. And uh, this program, we have experience of the last five years. There was a decision consciously made also that we will not wait for the total application to be developed and implemented. But as we go along for different programs, we'll develop the applications and get it going. So what are the key features of the strategic information management system? This is a system which covers over 20,000 reporting units. We'll come into the details of these reporting units. This will look uh, a mammoth uh, proposition to many of us. There is automatic aggregation of the key indicators, and this is also integrated with other databases like surveillance, PLHA database, survey data, so that if you want to triangulate to see the district uh, situation, we can do that. There are individual, from individual level reporting of the counseling and testing centers and ART centers, we are gradually moving towards HIV case reporting, and this system would be helpful for us in this exercise. And uh, this is a modular, expandable, and scalable system which has got slicing and dicing capabilities. It has intelligent analysis for data use at all levels. There are standard and custom reports which can be generated. There are options for advanced analysis using SAS. And this is also linked to the geographic information system for doing spatial analysis. This we are still in the process of uh, developing and training the people. There are options for dissemination of standard outputs, that is aggregated data which can be shared. It can be shared through our uh, portal of the National AIDS Control Organization. So on one hand, this system enhances the transparency and credibility of the data. It also provides real-time access at all levels. Often the complaint is that data is generated, it takes three to four months to reach a person who requests it. So this, is, this system provides a real-time access. And uh, though this design is web-based, web entry can be done both in online and offline mode, as I mentioned. And it can manage multiple type of users at all levels. We have a right-based user management system, which enables this. It also facilitates stakeholder involvement. There may be some projects which are Im implemented by the development partners. They would also be involved in the reporting and get the benefit of the uh, data. It provides options to build in validation checks to improve the data quality. We have provisions for development of uh, customized dashboard reports on key indicators on each of the program components. It provides multiple options to carry out different types of analysis of data. It could be simple aggregations. It could be very advanced statistics. It can be done through this platform. There are uh, effective presentations of key outputs, including graphic forms, uh, maps, etc., and which could be disseminated through the portal. It helps in better decision making by enhancing ease with which data at different sources can be triangulated. That is one of the benefits of this system. There are inbuilt consistency checks so that we know that if uh, one particular value can be equal to or greater than another, it doesn't exceed that. It doesn't uh, go beyond those limits. And there are alerts so that uh, if you set the limits, if uh, some unit is performing below, then the program manager at the state level gets alerted so that he needs to arrange for a supervisory visit to uh, check and guide the particular unit. There is a huge potential to become a customized decision support system for program managers at all levels. Another important use of the system is unlike other systems where information is fed in and uh, it goes up to the central level, here the person who is doing the data entry at the reporting unit level, it could be a counseling and testing center, it could be an ART center, immediately at the end of the entry they, there is a feedback. 
in terms of simple graphic form so that the person is able to, the unit is able to assess its own performance over the past month and also plan for the future uh, period. So this uh, slide shows the data flow and also the feedback that is available in the system from the reporting unit, which is at the sub-district level, through the district age prevention control unit at the district level. At the state level, we have the state age control society, and at the central level, we have the national age control organization. So the data entered at each level, there is a check and a feedback at the, from the next level. And uh, the, the data at the reporting unit is used to evaluate their own performance against the targets. At the district level, the data is used to assess the district level trends. At the state level, to assess the state trends, and also in terms of high priority districts to monitor the program. And at the national level, to inform the resource allocations and for making the annual action plans. Uh, to put it in a nutshell, there are three modules in the system. Admin module, MAS modules, and report and analytics module. Admin module, we provide for creation and management of reporting units, of users, and also controlling their access right management, and uh, also for resetting passwords were required. The MAS module covers the data entry formats, validation checks, searching and viewing, modifying the data, and reports captures input data into tabular outputs, and also in terms of analysis. As I mentioned, the scale of the task is uh, daunting. Over the period of the National Age Control Program Phase 3, from 2007, you see the scale up of uh, the facilities. The targeted interventions from 778 they increased to 1,800. And in terms of counseling and test, sorry. In terms of counseling and testing centers from 4,000 to 2007, it has increased almost fourfold to 15,000. So you see the uh, range of uh, number of facilities. So the only way we can get timely reporting from this large number is through a strategic information management system. And then there are benefits for the various centers, like uh, in terms of STA clinics, it estimates the clinic volume, the number covered by syndromic diagnosis, the coverage through syphilis screening of pregnant women, and the number of laboratory procedures. Similarly, for various centers, the services which are carried out are assessed. And uh, for management at the central level, we have to stabilize the active reporting units by defining what are the active units and deactive units, and developing guidelines for creating, activating, and deactivating them. Managing a unique center code system so that we're able to identify the center monitoring and addressing the issues coming from various uh, units, and analysis of bugs which are reported from time to time, and working with the consultant to resolve these bugs, streamlining the user access rights, and development of responsibility matrix and guidelines for data management, and uh, development of the user manuals. Similarly, at the state level, we have to ensure the computer and internet connectivity, and uh, monitoring the training programs that are conducted at various levels. This is also important because not only the initial training, a number of refresher trainings are required from time to time. There is also attrition of staff. People leave or uh, new people join, they need to be trained. So all this has to be taken care of. And uh, we also include uh, SIMS review as a part of all review, review meetings. Um, whichever division is having a review, this is included. And uh, states also have to conduct, uh, handhold the concerned SACS officers in rolling out the program. And uh, the respective uh, program component divisions are deputed for training and supervision in their respective areas. And the technical support unit is also involved in all these activities. Similarly, the roles of the reporting unit are entry of data, validation and sending it forward at the DAPCHU level to receive data, scrutinize the data for completeness and correctness, and after validation, it is sent to the next level. Uh, I mentioned about the trainings, the induction and the refresher trainings, where uh, we have to conduct for the uh, induction for the new recruits, and uh, also hands-on practice. And some people who are doing well, they are also deputed to those units which are not doing well, so that uh, they can guide them in improving their performance. And we also have quarterly meetings to review the progress. 
data definitions are very important for uh, standardizing the reporting. So for each of the programs, we have developed standard uh, data definitions. Data quality monitoring system, we have developed framework and guidelines for this through validation checks, consistency checks and alerts, and checklist. And we have developed help desk at the national and the state level so that they can uh, guide and support people in using the system. There are uh, 24 by 7 helplines. There are uh, emails through which uh, questions can be answered. Logs of issues are uh, uh, developed, uh, maintained, and uh, frequent questions are also shared. This is a wall chart which are displayed at various facilities to help them get acquainted and uh, for any reference purposes, the do's and don'ts, etc., are all included here. We have identified some steps to improve the reporting and uh, the project directors and the nodal persons of the SACs are instructed to focus on avoiding parallel mechanisms. Sometimes uh, some other systems may be there which may also be functioning side by side and uh, which leads to inconsistencies and uh, deficiencies in reporting. And uh, monitor those units which are not reporting or reporting not, no, not regularly and to handhold them and also uh, check on SIMS during their field visits and review meetings, and uh, review it during each of the review uh, meetings. And the SACs also have to ensure the availability of computers and internet connectivity at all the reporting units. Data cards are provided, and they are also provided uh, support for uh, going through the internet cafes and entering the data where required, uploading the data. In terms of managing data outputs, uh, we are focused on standardizing reports and ensuring bug-free reports, regular dissemination through our portal, customized component-wise dashboards to capture the key indicators, alert mechanisms have been developed for priority attention of the program managers, and operationalizing the GIS component is underway, and we want to develop it into a fully functional decision support system. And uh, this would also be conducive for uh, data analysis and use. We have developed the capacity of the state uh, personnel on data analysis and data use. Quarterly bulletins are being developed at the central level and the state level. And we also encourage the person at the stage to each person to develop at least uh, two analytic reports. Reporting status can be monitored program-wise and across the states. Uh, you'll still notice that there are some states in spite of all these five years. Completely. After all these five years, they're still reporting uh, is uh, poor. So there is a uh, lot of scope for improvement. I'll just uh, conclude by identifying the key challenges and uh, our learnings from this. Uh, one was issues related to software developer. While bidding for the contract, there is a lot of enthusiasm. They say we commit so many staff for this uh, program. But once they get the project, the attention gets diverted to their activities. And the project uh, staff from the consultant also keeps changing. So these were issues that uh, we had problem. And uh, problems are also there from the program that they want to keep uh, adapting it to new advances or new changes in the program. So at some level, we have to freeze it and tell them that, OK, we'll make changes after six months. So frequent changes in the formats were an issue. Connectivity was a problem. Computer literacy, of course, we had to train the people. Standardization of the management protocols was another major challenge we faced. And uh, ownership by program divisions is important. Uh, always it is felt that this is a baby of the m and division. So the other divisions feel that oh, it is uh, uh, beyond their duties to extend cooperation. They don't realize that uh, it is a cross-cutting activity. Rather, they benefited by this activity. So ownership is something which has to be taken up. To conclude the lessons learned, we found that using a web-based integrated data management system provides us an opportunity to improve our reporting, improve our data quality, and also improve the data use at all levels, not only at the central or state level, but even at the, at the field level. A strong system push is needed from the national level to the reporting unit level for implementing the system. The focus should be on building the infrastructure and also the developing the computer skills of the users is critical, and its standardized management protocols are of help. But uh, one of the important points, as I mentioned, is ownership of the program needs to be taken by the program divisions and also by the states for the program to be successful. Thank you.